UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. My name is Clark, and I was injured 35 years ago in a diving accident. Um, in a river. This chair is designed. Clark Landis works for a company that provides wheelchairs. I'm a T5 paraplegic and it was a result of a car accident in 1974. I was a high school senior and I rolled the Volkswagen bug. And then once a quarter, we have... Bill Ferris is the chief financial officer of the University of Washington's IT division. I was in a car accident in high school, um, 1982. Yeah, I'm 50. Did I say that out loud? Good boy. Oh, there we go. Elaine Stefanowitz is an academic advisor at a community college. As I ran into the water, I went into a dive, and there happened to be a big boulder in my way. I broke my neck at C4 or 5. And Joe Thayer works in the corporate world. They're now sharing their experiences in videos about what it's like to age with a spinal cord injury. The purpose of the videos is really to get um, first-hand accounts of people's experience with aging with spinal cord injury. Um, you know, the research really isn't there. Jeannie Hoffman is a professor in the UW Department of Rehabilitation Medicine and co-director of the Northwest Regional Spinal Cord Injury System. It's one thing to go and talk to your doctor and get their advice, but it's a whole different thing to have it kind of come from the source and come from really the, the personal experts of those who are in this position. And as I look towards aging, um, I'm very cognizant of, of wanting to maintain independent. At the same time, there's going to be a time where I will need more help. The four talk openly about health challenges and concerns now that they're in their 50s and 60s. When they were injured several decades ago, people with spinal cord injuries weren't expected to live long, let alone have successful careers. My era is the guinea pigs of this, because the docs, the therapists, everyone you talk to, they don't know exactly how we're going to age either, because they didn't live this long. Aging and work, it's, it's been hard. Just um, the commuting and driving and a 35 minute drive to Auburn can take an hour and a half to two hours on Thursdays and Fridays, you know, both ways. You know, and that can be tough. And just sitting that much. I know I should be doing certain things to make it easier to age. I know this. I know I should be stretching my legs more than I do. I know that. Thayer works from home, in part, because getting in and out of his car and driving was hard on his body. The others agree, the transfers from wheelchair to car seat require strength and coordination. All of them have injured their shoulders. So it's nice that you have... Hoffman is hoping their experiences will help others who are more recently injured. Thayer and Landis talk about a big transition. They now use power wheelchairs when they leave home. It was changing my identity, and I didn't like it. But both say the power chairs are a lot easier on their shoulders. I'm over being macho. Now it's just like, you're 53, dude. It's like, you need to just take care of yourself. They may be older, but they're a lot wiser. If you overuse your body or abuse it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to haunt you. You just know it's going to come. And if you can prepare for it, great. But you're going to age whether you want to or not. <laughs>